Hi friends, over the last week we've had a brand new type of lore event in Apex Legends. This is part of the new series called Apex Chronicles. This lore event is called Old Ways New Dawn and is focused on Bloodhound's lore. I'm going to show you all of the teasers that we've had in this event and explain what they might mean. Do check out my background video if you want to understand the background to what is happening in this lore event. By the way, you can only do each of these once, so after you complete each chapter, it's done and you can't redo it. Chapter 1 starts with you clicking prologue, and you can then click the white raven on your home screen, which gives you this voice line. That is not meat raven. It is strange. Put simply, Bloodhound is saying the White Raven is not theirs. Next, you'll load into a game on World's Edge, and when you look at your map, you'll see a Raven icon. This will take you to a White Raven sitting on some rocks. When you interact with this Raven, it will take you through some tracks. In theory, you're hunting an injured Prowler, which you are seeking to help. The message at the end of this first chapter will be this. Have you chosen the exile? Arthur. This is Arta, Bloodhound's uncle, questioning Bloodhound's actions, or lack of actions possibly. There is also a message when you click back on the homepage on the White Raven, saying, Uncle speaks from Valhalla. This is because Bloodhound's uncle actually died, so Uncle Arta is supposedly in Valhalla now. This takes you on to Chapter 2 in the Old Ways New Dawn lore event. We start by looking into a game and finding the White Raven again. It's marked on your map like last time. As you action the White Raven, Raven, Bloodhound will start talking while you move along the trail, in a similar way to chapter 1, and here is what Bloodhound says. We drank from the Samir streams, breathed in the Samir air, hunted the Samir trails. This world is in our bluth. There, bluth. Speed by Girni, by greed. Hammond knows only hunger. They see flecks of slaughter left on Talos's bones, forgetting what happened when they last fed on us. You can hear they are talking about Hammond, suggesting the pain caused by Hammond's greed is a similar feeling for Bloodhound as the wounded Prowler. When you get to the end of the trail, you'll find the White Raven again. If you interact with it, you get this voice line. The trail is lost. It led me here. To New Dawn. <laughs> My parents frozen to Not a tomb, a monument to your hand in their death. They only worked with the Vela to support you. I wish I could lock her to them now. Tell them to come home that, that I... I am not worth their lives. But I'm too late. Here, Bloodhound and Arta are talking about Bloodhound's parents, who worked as engineers at the New Dawn Industrial Plant on World's Edge before a meltdown caused this flash freezing. Of course, this killed Bloodhound's parents, and clearly Bloodhound is expressing regret at them losing their lives. Interestingly, something we didn't know before is said by Arta when he says they were working there to support Bloodhound. Perhaps they just wanted to give their child a better future. After completing chapter 2, you can click the white raven on the home screen again to hear another voice line. You taunt me. You show me pain, but not the beast whose pain I could enter. The next chapter is chapter 3, before moving on to the finale. Chapter 3 is very similar to the previous in terms of what you need to do, load into a game and go looking for the White Raven. Here is the voice line you get when you interact with the White Raven to start the hunt. I did all kinds of really amazing moves. The Are you listening? Just like the Seduced. I you reject the very wisdom that kept us alive. You Did reject you see how us. Great I was. I did all kinds of really it amazing moves. Like this. Are you I did not know our ways and hunted without honor, but I could have, should, have stopped him. Uncle, I would never. Eventually, you get to the end, and this is the voice line. Oh. Ah, the tracks. The prowler went up this mountain to die alone. I'm scared. I cannot climb this. I will need another way, after the conclusion of this day's games. 
This is the end of chapter 3. Now you get to the best part. The finale is truly awesome, so definitely watch this. Drop out of that game and head to the firing range as Bloodhound. Run over to the raised platform, the same place you went for the Ash Arena teaser. Don't forget to press your action button on the center console, otherwise the dropship won't arrive. As soon as the dropship lands, Head towards it, and then be prepared for an awesome cinematic. Have a watch to see exactly what happens when you board the dropship. Young one, once so promising. As they who mastered the old ways and the new, you were meant to be all father's knife. Cutting our trail into the future. But you, you bit your tongue, you wallow in desire, you play your games. You are no Bluth, Hundar. You are a failure. Arthur. Nay. You failed your mother and father. Nay. You failed Boone. Nay. You failed your people. Nay. You failed your home. Nay! You have failed me! I am nothing. No. I am Blood Hunter! Our father guides all. My parents, Brun. To talk our responsibility for all is to talk of the power of the gods. I am no god, and I am not nothing. I am Bluthundr. Valai <sighs> creature, I cannot stop your suffering. Friryesnik, but it is part of life. You are at your end. So let it go, vine creature. Go to Valhalla knowing you are not alone and you are not lost. I am with you and you with me. So that's the entire Old Ways New Dawn lore event. Of course, we hear Uncle Arta's voice, but I don't think this is actually Uncle Arta. It's more representing the torment in Bloodhound's mind, torn by what Hammond has done to destroy Talos, and Bloodhound questioning whether they could, or indeed should, have done something to stop it. Ultimately, I feel Bloodhound has accepted this is the fate, and as they say, they must honour those that have risen, not those that have fallen. I feel this whole story really shows how hurt Bloodhound is from the damage that has been caused to the home planet by Hammond's activities. It's kind of been a journey of discovery for Bloodhound, and I can't wait to see more. I'm fairly certain we'll get to see more lore events like this, where there'll be activities for us to do in-game, and more story to develop. Don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later.